Ozzy Soleil here, and I just want to take you through more of a thought experiment rather than a true how-to. You know, when we think about building tools, there are a lot of things that we have to think about. And then we put the pieces together. So in this puzzle, somebody mentioned, I've got a small hotel, and I never really know how many people are going to be in my hotel next week, around the first of the year, whatever. They would like to see somehow into the future. So what kind of things do we need to know? Well, we need to know the reservation. Who's coming? When are they coming? When are they leaving? How many people will be with them? We need a way to look into the future, but not have somebody scrolling all over the place. So if you want to look 90 days into the future, you need an easy way to do that. You don't want to have 90 columns. Then you want to look at next year. And now you've got more than two, 300 columns. You don't want to do that. No. So here's what I built. Over here, we have reservations. Lee has a reservation for the 26th of September through the 1st of October and no guests. And that's one person in that reservation. Whereas Henry, 23rd of September through October 1st, four guests, five total people during that time period just in that reservation. If we want to look into the future, here's another component where the user can put a start date it's in 28th of September 2015. And that is the date that's here at the top of this chart. Let's go and click. Ah. So now I've clicked down two days. Now we're starting at the 30th of September and this 14 day window is going through the 13th of October. So we can go far into the future and see 88 days. We didn't have to go 88 columns or 88 rows in order to see this, but we have two people reserved 28th through 30th of December. It's good to know. And nobody. Okay, then we have the 24th. Okay, then we have have some reservations. We've got some empty time here the 25th through 27th. And more empty time here in early December. We control that with a scroll bar. And if you need to know, the scroll bar is up in the developer tab under insert and form controls. And where is this graph getting its data from? The graph is getting its data from under here, where we say that this date, the 27th of October, is these 29 that's coming from the scroll bar and this date of 28 September. That takes us to the 27th of October. How many guests? How do we calculate that? We calculate that using a sum ifs. We're going to sum the total column where two conditions are met. The arrival date is less than or equal to the date in J7 and the departure date is greater than or equal to J7. So let's add somebody. Franco on the 7th of November through the 11th of November and three guests. Okay, so you see the graph updated. Now 
and there you have it I'm gonna let you download this you can play with it pull it apart see how the form control works but the main thing is thinking about what you need to solve this problem we want to be able to see into the future there's the calculation and there's the interface the calculation might be easy but then it can be a pain if you do have to scroll 90 days into the future and then scroll back and then you start getting into freezing pains and no no keep it neat think about the interface think about the calculations you might ask what if a ghost makes a reservation because a ghost should not be counted as a person and it's probably not going to have guests but the thing is you got other problems you got other problems if a ghost makes a reservation.